Christian, talk about blood pressure a little bit. Next mm -hmm. to cholesterol, we hear that's another, probably the second or between yeah. the top two big risk factors for, yeah. for uh, heart uh, disease. How much of a, a role does that play? Well, it is the silent killer. Mm -hmm. And there's the, there's the crux of the matter. If you have high blood pressure and don't know about it, you could be at risk for a stroke at any time. Also, the more blood pressure you, you elevate to, the more it stretches the artery, which allows, allows cholesterol deposits to have a home. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people will say, I don't want any medication at all. If I w was to, to make this point, I would say, if one particular ailment that you should never go without control, whether it be medication or not. People think if I can relax and I can meditate. Well, that might work when you get up at six in the morning, right, over your orange juice. But it now comes 11 o'clock and you find out mm -hmm. you're being fired at your job or your kid had broke his arm in a, in a soccer match or something like that, your blood pressure goes through the roof. Sure. What protection do you have at that time? Mm -hmm. Now, there are, in Hidden Causes, I talk about the HOPE trial and a particular type of drug called an ACE inhibitor that lowers your risk, besides lowering your blood pressure, lowers your risk of all mortality by 16%, lowers your chance of a heart attack by 27%, and lowers your chance of having a stroke by 31%. I think I have those right. They're in the book. So uh, a mild medication to keep that in control because that's something that uh, we hear of it every day. Uh, how many people have a stroke? Mm -hmm. It's terrible. Also, your blood viscosity. You have to be have your doctor check your blood viscosity. Mm. Now, they'll tell you, well, you take an aspirin. Well, that's fine. That's for platelet aggregation. But viscosity is something else, and hyperviscosity, hypercoagulation are other factors that you need to have checked. Okay. What is that? How thick or how thin your blood yeah. is, and what can people do right. to, to change that? Well, uh, fish oil, for one thing. Okay. You know, when we were talking about uh, vulnerable plaque, I, I, I meant to mention that fish oil uh, is a protection. It uh, keeps the plaque supple to some degree, perhaps less chance of exploding. Okay. Uh, it takes away inflammation in the arteries, and inflammation is the heat factor. Uh, Scott, right now, it's close to 300,000. Some of the agencies have different numbers. I've seen some that go to 400,000 people die each year in America of sudden cardiac death. No prior warning in about 50% of those cases. Mm -hmm. We hear about it every day. If you went to your high school reunion, You'd probably ask about certain people. Say, "Oh, you didn't hear? He he had a major heart attack, or you know, it's just it's all around us." Mm -hmm. 